All right, guys, Mike's here. Like I promised, here's that Cisco. So, uh, you know, let's save this guy. What happened there? Didn't really want to uh, pull him apart. Well, actually, no. Take that back. I've been wanting to pull him apart since I got it. Trying to figure out what happened with this guy. All right. He's just spinning. These I think these are dip chips. These are resistors, oscillators. Now these yellow ones, those are MLCCs. And then this big yellow bullet, that's tantalum. So now I've heard that these chips here. I think that's called a dip chip also. Maybe this is a dip chip and these aren't. But either way it goes, I've heard that these are pretty good to process. Guess an incineration, but it's hard telling. So, a lot of ICs on that board. Some really nice gold pens on the back. And there's going to be a few gold pens in there. Okay. Let's see what this next one has to offer. Scoop this up a little bit. Gotta love that, right? Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so this guy is basically exact duplicate of the last one. Set him to the side. Alright. Now, look at these guys. You know, normally these pens I put by themselves and uh, I put them all together with IDE pens. So I'm guessing there's going to be pens under here. Yes, there are. So uh, that's nice. Um, this guy, there should be a little ceramic under him if I remember right. You know what, let's take a uh, quick look and see if he's there. Okay, no. So, the newer boards, when you see some of these, they'll be, uh, and actually, you know what, give me a minute, guys. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. These guys right here. And you break them off the board. On the bottom, you're going to see ceramic. Instead of the uh, plastic or whatever. 
Now, if you break that guy open and see some of these, you know, they look just like that. Now, that may or may not be what I'm thinking about. Actually, I'm starting to think it isn't. Uh, the difference is, if you can see here, newer boards, or there was a transition stage, they were like this, and then they went to these, and then they went back to these. So, um, I think it's really just depends on the manufacturer at that point. But, who knows, we'll dig into this guy and take a look. Also has the nice pens on the bottom. Let's see. So if you guys hear sirens in the background, that means it's Wednesday at noon. They test it every week. So, decent pins. Yeah, they don't go, not gold all the way down, but we'll definitely get those tops off of there. <coughs> all right. Let's see what kind of memory we got. Eh, yeah, bummer. Oh, well. Yep. Ten memory. I'll, I mean, of course, I'll test it, make sure it's not silver, but I haven't ran across any silver yet. I recommend you guys get you some um, Schwerter's solution. Because it gives a, uh, a no fell, tells you whether it's silver or not, you know. So we got these guys here. Let's see if I can check out this date code real quick and give you an idea when these were manufactured. Alright, I don't know if you'll be, my glass is really dirty. But it said 9301, which means it was made the first week in 93. See, uh, looks like got some little bit of memory down here, too. And And these are 9246. So manufactured the 46th week of 1992. All right, so. Trying to do this without knocking my phone off. I'm sure you guys don't want to take another fall. Looks like the uh, power supply is still being held on by another screw, so we'll get it later. So, uh, let's see. 
guys see this silver canister now that may 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 or may not be tantalum i'm going to guess that it is Really, my favorite thing is when you're working on these and they change from a Phillips head to a hex head. There's nothing really cooler than that, right? Well, maybe it wasn't a hex head. Maybe I just destroyed it. That'll happen from time to time. Okay. So, you know what, guys? I'm actually going to stop this video. But I want to show you. I found her. Let's see. Come on, Matt. See if I can get... Huh. That's a s silver penned processor. I've never seen one. I mean, I'm sure you guys have. You probably see them all the time. That's a first for me, though. Um. Go. Ain't that pretty neat? All right, so now look, look at where it went in now. I'm guessing silver, possibly. Let's see. Now I'm guessing he. That's one of them power units. Um, you know, has a bunch of those little round copper coils in it. I'm guessing these are going to have the little window. I hope. I guess it would have been easier to do this when it was still sticking to the board. You know what? Tell you what, guys. That, that puppy right there is pretty heavy. So... I don't get a hold of too much of this vintage equipment, so a lot of it's a surprise for me. So, uh, anyway, one last thing I wanted to show you before I cut out. So, like I pointed out, these are MLCCs, you know. That's how they did them before. And it even has the newer style MLCCs, which I've never seen but a few boards that has both types on it. So guys, I'm going to get out of here. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. My puppies, they're out hunting rabbits this morning. He caught a little bunny. But, uh, so, got these. I'm going to play around with. I always like these silver pen or these gold plated pens. Sometimes they come out easy, sometimes they don't though. So anyway, Mike's done and I will catch you guys later.